Hello again everyone, welcome back to EcoQuest. In the last episode we cleaned up the uh, public gardens here and uh, managed to get an oily shell and a healing potion. Uh, but before we move on to uh, clean up other things as uh, our janitorial duties require... A green moss grows between the cobblestones. Moss, huh, game? Moss. Moss doesn't grow underwater! I clicked on that thinking it would be grass. It would talk about the, the you know, uh, the lawn or the grass or something like that. Because grass also doesn't gr grow underwater. But, uh, no, it's moss. <sighs> Thanks, game. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can uh, get back to cleaning up... Uh... Woo! Things have gotten even worse since the last time I was here. Someone really cut one nasty. Fish apartments now, but I'm afraid I'm not much good at this sort of thing. Especially since I don't have hands. Have you found the mayor or the guardian of the greens yet? I did. They were tasty. Yep. I found both the mayor and the guardian of the greens. Did you know they go really well with butter? Good for you. What did the mayor say? No, uh, uh, that's what I said after I ate him. Not much. I'm afraid he doesn't trust me because I'm a human boy. <laughs> what? What is? What is this expression after this line? Oh, well, of course he doesn't trust you with that kind of expression. That's understandable, I guess, but not very fair. Maybe there's some way you can prove to the mayor that you're a good human. Hmm, actually, on second thought, no. There are no good humans. Except for dead humans. How? Does he have a problem? Maybe you can find something he really <laughs> needs. Does he have a problem? Hmm. Nah, nah, the mayor has no problems at all. I heard he was having a bit of a problem finding a new shell. You know, in case you hadn't figured that out yet. Did I tell you that ancient peoples used images of dolphins to represent the soul? Yeah, I think you might have. Did I tell you that ancient peop Did I tell you that an You can hang out here if you want, Adam. I got to go to the surface to breathe. See you back here later. Oh man, I use that uh, excuse all the time. You know, you're, you know, it's it's like, uh, oh, that's a fascinating dissertation about the problem-solving ability of slime molds, but uh, I actually got to go breathe. I'll be back in An old toaster litters the area. Some people will throw anything away. Yeah, I can understand. I mean, it doesn't have wings. So that's where socks go when they disappear in the laundry. Mm. No, I, I think that's just uh, something that someone threw overboard. Someone's thrown an aluminum tube of toothpaste into the sea. Were toothpaste tubes ever actually made out of aluminum? I mean, I suppose the interiors of them might be aluminum. I don't know, that just, just sounds like it's an actual, like, you know, a, a soda can type thing. An old, empty, foil-wrapped candy box lies on the ground. Someone thoughtlessly threw an old plate into the sea. That yeah, wasn't thoughtless, they were offering it up to the uh, their, their undersea friends here in the fish apartments. These discarded pipes are firmly implanted into the silt, having been here for years and years. I'm pretty sure we can get them out unless they're really, really long. The tattered remains of a man's shirt lies on the ground. Adam wonders who would throw their shirt into the ocean. Probably someone who was uh, misunderstanding exactly what was required of a wet t-shirt contest. There's a thick cotton cloth lying on the steps to the fish apartments. A Los Angeles Dodgers baseball cap lies on the ocean floor, discarded by some disgruntled fan. Yeah, understandable, I suppose. Actually, I don't know how well the Dodgers played. I don't even know if the uh, Dodgers are Ellie's team right An now. An old shoe has been thrown out, perhaps because its odor eaters expired. Oh, maybe that's what uh, Delphinius was smelling. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get to uh, the recycling. Adam gives the old shoe the old boot and trashes it. Adam stuffs the Dodgers baseball cap into his garbage bag. Good thing he's a Giants fan. Why is that a good thing? 
Did he enjoy it more than uh, he would have otherwise done? Adam disposes of the yucky old shirt. It's been in the water. How yucky can it actually be? I mean, it's not like you can st still smell the uh, sweat on it. Adam cleans up the old plate. Adam tries to stuff himself into the garbage bag, but thinks better of it. Oh, be fun. Just move out of the way. Adam is ready to throw out the cloth when he sees that it's still quite strong and clean. Perhaps it will come in handy. Hint, hint! All right, let's go grab it. Adam picks up the cotton cloth and carries it with him. In what? I guess his, his commodious pockets? Daydreaming of chocolates, Adam throws away the empty candy box. Adam squeezes the aluminum toothpaste tube into his garbage bag. Maybe cap capacious would be a better word. Adam puts the old sock in his garbage bag, thinking that it will never find its mate now. No, it will! It'll find its mate in uh, sock heaven. They have a lot of sock hops out there. Adam right burns the toaster. All right! Adam makes a clean sweep of the garbage around the fish apartments. Oh, yay! All right, let's uh, look around a little bit. Coral, kelp, and other sea plants grow on and around the ruins of the Grecian city that is Illuria. Coral and kelp aren't sea plants. Moss and lichen coat the rocks and ruins of the sunken city. Moss and lichen don't grow underwater. Coral, kelp... That apartment's porch light is off. That must mean that nobody's home. How do they have porch lights? Ruins surround Illuria, though they've been long deserted and are of no interest to Adam or the Illurians. Hmm. Must mean that their uh, population is declining. That apartment's porch light is on. That must mean that somebody's home. All right, well, uh, let's try going in one of these. Hey, what you doing there, stranger? I just want to say hi to everyone here in the fish apartments. I'd like to go inside and visit the fish. Like you, Mr. Fish. Nope, 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 no can do. I'm gregarious and I'm supposed to kick strangers out. That's my job. And I don't know you from Adam. I'm not a stranger. I'm just here to eat you all. But I am Adam. Sorry, sorry. No can do. You need a pass to get in. Yep. Multi-pass? Where can I get that? Sorry, I clicked that before he finished. You got me. <laughs> I'm just the watchman. Wow, sir. You're terrible. Gregarious the manatee is a mammal. Manatees swim in warm water and breathe air at the ocean's surface. Gregarious is the watchman for the fish apartments. Well, I suppose uh, he's also used uh, for educating young fish so that they get the proper culture and uh, religion. Uh, also, so we have um, Greek ruins with uh, Minoan artwork and a Greek Senate building and a manatee. From the Florida Keys and in the inland Florida waterways. Actually, I'm not sure if they're in the Keys. I know they're in the inland waterways. Whatever. You ever get the feeling that maybe Adam uh, took a little something before bed? Adam, did you do LSD before you went to sleep? I think it's all just a dream. The manatee looks a little odd. He's turned bright blue and is covered with bandages. It's just paint. Adam makes small talk with the manatee. You know, I knew the human once. <laughs> he was kind of hairier, though. Uh, oh, sorry. That was a Canadian otter. Well, I can understand how you get them mixed up. I get you mixed up with ham all the time. Darn nice fellow, though. Adam makes small talk. I heard the weather's been awful nice this year. <laughs> of course, I'm not real up on my current events. What, you don't feel the currents swishing around you? Ocean currents, that is. <laughs> ah. Adam makes small... I heard the weather's been... Oh. Adam makes... You know, darn... No. Adam makes... I heard the weather's... Oh. Adam makes... I heard the weather... Ocean... 
pretty sure there's Alex, another one that I can get. You know, there we go. Sailors used to think us manatees were mermaids. <laughs> yeah, I, I can understand. You are kind of... No, you're not. No, I'm not even going to finish that thought. Well, you know, the man-made mermaid mystery was a manatee in history. I'm going to eat you last. I said... Give me a pass, Adam, not make a pass. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's a little uh, older than I expected. Guess you don't have a pass. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get past you if you uh, just wait a moment. Wow, he just disappeared fast. All right, well, um, I think I know where we can get a pass. Let's go s visit our good friend, Superfluous. Oh, superfluous. Superfluous, come out and see what I brought you. It's your death. I found you a new shell. You said your old one was pinching you. Well, <laughs> what can you expect from a human? That is a much smaller shell than the one that he cur currently has. Oh, ah, oh, damn, that was cold. I bring you this nice oily shell, and and you just you just spit on it. Fine, I'll clean it up. Adam uses the rag to clean the oil and tar off the shell. He gets all the oil off the shell, but boy, that rag sure is oily now. Crow would be proud. Superfluous, come out and see what I brought you. It's your death again. I found you a new shell. You said your old one was pinching you. Oh, a nice clean shell. Thank you, it's ever so roomy. But why would a human boy do such a thing? I'm just buttering you up. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go kill myself now. I told you, I want to help Illyria. So that I can make you all nice and juicy and tasty and eat you later. Nice fit. I don't know how to thank you, you know. Maybe the citizens would listen to you after all. You give me money. Oh, if only you could get them to come here. Why, maybe together we could all think of a way to save ourselves. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to do it no matter what anyway. I tell you what, I'll give you a deputy badge if you'll agree to help me get the citizens here for a council meeting. Well, that sounds good. After all, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. I'll do my best, Mr. Mayor. Here. Here's the badge. Now off with you, son, and don't let me down. Uh, you're, you're already down, sir. Adam takes the deputy badge from Superfluous. Why, it's a starfish. Oh, who would have predicted that? Can I, can I not take the other one? This does not look like a starfish. That does not look like a starfish. The starfish badge is a real, live starfish. Superfluous gave it to Adam as a kind of deputy badge. And now it is trying to crack open Adam's skull and get to its, his juicy innards. I like starfish eat, uh, um, mollusks. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh, Two Lurians swim into the courtyard only to panic and run off. Adam wonders what on earth? Uh-oh. Adam looks up in terror as a huge black shape glides like a cloud above him, blocking the surface light. Oh my god, it's an Ixetsachidol! The water tingles with a feeling of danger and evil. Adam is frozen in place with fear, unable to move a flipper. Uh, I, I know, like I said, it's an Ixetsachidol. Holy cow! And Delphinius murders us. The black monster finishes its path and slowly glides whoa, away. Whoa, 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 whoa. The black monster is from Legend of Dragoon, not this game. Come on, get, it, get your uh, story straight, game. Wait, it wasn't exaggerated. 
I actually thought it was going to be a shark. Are you okay? Did I hurt you? Y uh, no, you just cracked every s every one of my ribs. Are you kidding? You saved my life. What was that thing? It was an Ixitzachital. We call him Flesh Eater. He's the biggest, meanest manta anyone's ever seen. Most mantas are gentle, but this one's a real bone grinder. Most mantas are gentle because they're filter feeders. They don't have teeth. Again, it's an Ixitzachital. He started coming around just before Cetus vanished. He likes to come by and pick up Ilarians to eat. We seem to be his favorite food. Would you like crappies with that? That's awful. No wonder the citizens are hiding. The mayor asked me to see if I can get him to the council chambers. But why would they come out for me? Well, I don't know. Maybe if uh, they thought they, they could eat you and, and get uh, um, vicarious revenge on all of humankind. The pollution is more of a danger to some Ilarians than Flesh Eater. Why don't you go visit the citizens in the fish apartments? If you can help them with their problems, they'd trust you then. Oh, so in other words, I gotta do f fetch quests for them kind of thing. I'll head on over to the council chambers and be the first one there. Good luck, Adam. After all, I wouldn't want to help you with this task of getting everyone to trust you. All right, well, let's go up to uh, the fish apartments again. I actually did not remember that uh, there was a an evil manta ray in this game at all. I, I honestly did uh, think it was going to be a shark. Seriously, why is it a manta ray? I mean, other than the fact that some, some rays are called devilfish, which is where they got I exit satchels from. You got a pass yet, stranger? Or are you just floundering around? Oh. Will this do? The mayor said it was a badge. Well, I'll be a starfish sticking to a reef shark's back. What? A badge from the mayor? Why didn't you say so, stranger? Um, visitor, feel free to look around. A plastic baggie floats down from the surface. Sweet. Before Adam can grab it. Uh-oh. Hmm. The little blowfish panics and inflates. I'm sure it'll be fine. So what if he dies? And gets stuck in his apartment window too fat to get through. Oh, let's laugh at his suffering. Adam pushes gently on the panicked blowfish, hoping to help him get back into his apartment. I got points for it. Ow! Adam's landed in the little blowfish's apartment and landed hard. Oh, come on. Like, you can land hard underwater. Adam very carefully unwraps the plastic and frees the frightened blowfish. Oh, that's too bad. He was nice and uh, plastic wrapped ready for the market. Are you okay? But of course. Ah, Nelsis cannot be dispersed by me or mortal danger. Man, no. I did not even see the jellyfish that attacked me until I ate it. Uh, it, it wasn't a jellyfish. It was a plastic baggie. Also, why do you not have an orange toupee? It wasn't a jellyfish, it was a plastic baggie. A uh, human product, I'm afraid. A baggie? Plastic? How no, can plastic, I not plastic. It's not an explosive. But who are you? And why are you so ugly, if you pardon my French? Uh, I, I don't pardon your French. French is terrible. I'm kidding. Don't get mad at me, French viewers. I was joking. What is it about my games right now having uh, gratuitous uh, um, offensive stereotypes of various uh, uh, peoples? I got this and I've got uh, uh, Grandia. Although I don't think that episode's gone live yet by this point. I'm Adam, and I'm a human boy. Haven't you ever seen a human before? I'm I'm working to become a puppet. But of course. I am not Libib. I have known many humans quite intimately. 
Ew. No, no, don't drift close You're to him. Artist, right? Is this your painting? Uh, Adam, don't get too close. He's going to poison you. Ah, my latest masterpiece. The negative space gives it a certain je ne sais quoi to this amusing little waterscape. Don't you agree? Maybe Adam just wants to throw to toxin. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to what you said. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll go with. Well, it's fini now. I had a terrible time with it. Those sea urchins will not sit still. They have no appreciation for l'artiste. Isn't that half dome? I think that's half dome. Since you have saved my life, mon ami, why don't you take these petite sea urchins? It is a humble gift, perhaps, but then having the pleasure of meeting me more than compensates, n'est-ce pas? Who's what now? Thanks, Narcissus. Oh. And now that you're okay, the mayor would like to see you in the council chambers for our meeting. The mayor? But of course he wants me there. Say no more, uh, boy. I go now. Bon chance, mon ami. Your French is terrible. Don't get eaten by Japanese sushi chefs. And, and if you do, make sure you poison them with your tetrodotoxin. Good idea. Try the garbage bag. Was that like try the veal? Good idea. Adam maybe we picks could use up it. the plastic baggie and puts it in his garbage bag so that it won't be able to trap any other sea creatures. And so he'll have it handy in case he wants to get back get revenge upon uh, um, Narcissus. Let's take a look around his uh, apartment. On the easel is a waterscape featuring an undersea mountain and various forms of sea life, including the sea urchins on the nearby table. It's not a waterscape, it's half dome. The blowfish displays one of his paintings on the wall. There's an interesting little shell table next to the easel. It holds the blowfish's painting subjects. There's an inter There's a painting palette lying on the floor. It looks as though the little blowfish has just finished a painting. I don't know, it kind of blows. That's quite a statue. Apparently this fish has a certain fascination with himself. I never would have guessed that with a name like Narcissus. And of course the Narcissus is French. Hmm, the paintings against the wall seem to all feature blowfish. In very provocative poses. That statue looks like brain coral. Talk about working from nature. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Adam is swimming in the apartment of a blowfish named Narcissus. From the looks of the place, Narcissus is a painter. Finished canvases and paint supplies litter Narcissus's apartment. I feel like someone was just trying, they, they realized that uh, the narrator had trouble saying Narcissus and uh, they basically put three of them in just to bother her. Sea vegetation decorates the apartment like potted plants. Not, not vegetation. Adam is swimming in the apartment. Alright, well, I think we're done here. Although we can take a look at... Uh... Adam is carrying sea urchins given to him by Narcissus in thanks for saving him from a plastic baggie. The sea urchins are small creatures that eat algae. The cloth has oil on it from cleaning the oily shell. Okay, so we're done Narcissus's there. Narcissus' apartment light is out, now that he's left for the council chambers. Can I go into one of these empty ones? Apparently I can. Apparently no one lives in this apartment. Fine, I'll leave. All right, what about this one? Knock, knock, I'm coming in. Cool, it's a carving of a dolphin. The swordfish's snout is obviously good for more than surgery. Sea vegetation decorates the apartment like potted plants. 
The swordfish has gotten his snout trapped in the plastic rings from a six-pack of soda. The plastic is tight and he can't open his mouth enough to eat. Eh, so he'll just starve. It's fine. The swordfish has gotten his snout. I'm actually trying to look at the, uh, The table heart holds the swordfish doctor's medical supplies. Oh. The table holds the... The table hold... On the wall is a diploma from William and Moray College. The professional emblem shield of Sturgeon's graces the wall. <laughs> the bookcase contains Fishbine's medical encyclopedia. <sighs> well, all right. This episode has run a little bit longer than I uh, um, uh, meant to, but uh, that's fine. Uh, when we return, um, we will see what we can do about uh, rescuing this fine f swordfish fell I don't know what we call them but yes that'll be next time see you then everyone <laughs>